Hello, nice to meet you again and welcome to Good News of Pinto Radio and Television Station. Has slide today. A ceremony to announce that Tatsun Kumun has gained advanced new style Ruru standards. People's Committee of Bantui District held a meeting to mark City Edge years of Vietnamese Physicians Day. Top news, on the morning of February 23rd, the People's Committee of Godot District held a ceremony to announce that Tsung Kumun has gained advanced new style rural standards. Vice Chairman of Kanta City People's Committee Nguyen Ngoc Khe attended. By the end of 2022, Tsung Kumun has fully achieved 19 advanced new style rural criteria and was approved by Chairman of Kanta City People's Committee. At present, the material and spiritual life of the people is increasing day by day. Mr. Nguyen Ngoc Khe, Vice Chairman of Kanta City People's Committee, highly valued the efforts of the locality and directed Tatsung Kumun and Kadao District to continue improving quality to build an exemplary new style Duro Kumun. On this occasion, the city and the coordination office for construction of new style rural areas of Kanta City have rewarded many collectives and individuals who have made contributions to the construction of new style rural areas in the locality. Leaders of Kanta City, including Mr. Nguyen Ngoc Tam, head of the Rural Education Board of the City Party Committee, Mr. Nguyen Văn Hồng, Vice Chairman of Kanta City People's Committee, had a working session with the City ODA Project Management Board and leaders of Ninh Kiều District People's Committee on the results of the clearance work of Kanta Urban Development and Resilience Enhancement Project. According to the report of the City ODA Project Management Board, the total number of households affected by the project up to now over 4,310 households. In the past time, measurement, inventory, and preparation of the compensation records for 4,243 households have been carried out, and 3,430 have been paid for. Of these, 3,258 households have handed over the site to the construction unit. According to the commitment with the World Bank, the project will end at the end of June 2024. Therefore, the entire project site must complete the work of compensation, support and resettlement before June this year. Among the 1,053 households that have not handed over the land yet, Ninkyu District has 1,043 households. At the meeting, city leaders and related units exchanged and discussed solutions to urgently complete the site clearance of the project in the spirit of the commitment to the World Bank. In the year 2022, digital transformation in Kanta City has completed 12 per 17 targets, surpassing 100%. Three targets have not been a trip criteria to unspecified targets, 58 per 75 missions completed. As of December 18, 2022, Kanta City has nearly 992,000 cases of citizen identification, reaching the rate of 89.36%. The police of communes, wards, and townships are continuing to perfect the national data on the population to ensure correct, sufficient, clean living criteria. 100% of citizens have collected population information and are given personal identification numbers and 100% of citizens of the age group are issued a citizen ID with an electronic chip attached. At the conference, Mr. Zheng Vi Chung, chairman of Gunther City People's Committee, requested localities and units to focus on strategically implementing, achieving targets and tasks, paying special attention to priority areas in digital transformation and directly related to people and businesses. In particular, 2023 is the National Digital Data Year, so industries must drastically focus on 
digitizing data, updating and reviewing data, developing data, implementing data management and sharing. At the same time, we saw increase the rate of online public services, promote and encourage people and businesses to make non-cost payments at hospitals, schools and production and businesses establishments. The Department of Information and Communications is assigned to assume the bright responsibility for and coordinate with other departments, agencies, and localities in advising on the development of digital data development plan, identifying priority sectors and fields, and the roadmap on implementation aim at digital data development, data integration, and sharing to practically third people and businesses having data driven governance. The Mekong Delta is at the peak of the dry season, while the flow of the Mekong River to the Mekong Delta is decreasing rapidly in March. The forecast of satellite intrusion starts to increase. According to the National Center for Hydrometeorological Forecasting, satellite intrusion in the Mekong Delta in the dry season in 2022-2023 is equivalent to average level of many years. The following satellite intrusion in the Mekong estuary is concentrated in March from March 18 to 25 at Vamga and Kai Leung rivers, in March and April from March 18 to 25 from April 17 to 23. The situation of saline institution in the Mekong Delta depends on water sources from the upstream Mekong River, high tides, and will fluctuate in coming time. Therefore, localities need to properly update hydrometeorological forecasts and take proactive measures to prevent saltwater intrusion. Kentucky City Obstetrics and Gynecology Hospital will be assigned to buy trust in the concentration of 2023-2025, replacing the previous decision to assign Kentucky Department of Health as a centralized drug procurement unit. This decision has just been assigned and promulgated by Vice Chairman of Kentucky City People's Committee Nguyen Thich King. Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee directed the City's Department of Health to assign Gunter City of Statues and Gynecology Hospital to organize the purchase of trust on the list of trusts under centralized local bidding, advise and submit to the Chairman of the City People's Committee for a decision on items not on the list of concentrated bidding for the use at medical facilities following regulations. The Ministry of Labor, Work, Invalids and Social Affairs proposed the provinces and centrally run cities review and evaluate the implementation and review the areas where the regional minimum wage is applied, thereby serving as a basis for proposing adjustment according to regulations of the labor law. Following the works of the beloved Uncle physician as a mother, over the past time, the health sector in the district has always promoted the spirit of medical ethics, improving the quality of medical examination and treatment for people. In the year 2022, the district health center received medical examination and treatment for over 86,000 patients and age per age medical stations in wards all meet the national standards. This is a condition for what health stations to more effectively perform preventive medicine, medical examination, and treatment for people at the grassroots level. People's Committee of Bantui District held a meeting to mark 68 years of Vietnamese Physicians Day more to follow. Specifically, on the regulation of the minimum wage region, the Ministry of Labor, or Invalid and Social Affairs, requires locality to review the areas where the minimum wage is applied. The branch of Vietnam Chambers of Commerce and Industry organized discussions with the Management Board of the Export Protection Zones and Industrial Parks if it says professional associations in the area, thereby synthesizing and reporting to the Provincial People's Committee, subordinate and send it to the Ministry of Labor, Invalids and Social Affairs.
And now a quick check on weather condition. That's all for the news of Gentile Radio and Television Station. Thanks so much for your attention. Please visit us on website, gentile.tv.vn. Bye for now.